Hello, Scorpio. This is going to be a love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So feel free to check out your other placements. Sometimes you have more, you can get more accurate messages there. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, subscribed, or commented on my recent videos. I really appreciate it. I've been reading all of your comments and I'm just blown away. I appreciate all the support. So thank you so much. Spirit, please bring forth messages for Scorpio in regards to love. I've combined two Oracle decks, the Enchanted Map Oracle cards and the Energy Oracle cards. And I have reduced the, the size of the deck. So I've taken some cards out that didn't really have anything to do with relationships or weren't as clear. Just full disclosure. I did that so that I could actually shuffle the deck. <laughs> And I just really like these two decks combined, so I didn't didn't want to just use one of them. So, all right, spirit, please messages for my Scorpios. Time is fluid, so this situation could have happened in the past, in the present, or the near future. Thank you. And roles can be reversed, like if you're talking about you or the other person. Let's see, what do we have for Scorpio? in love wow didn't you guys get this last time so far i have commitment and deceit i just want you guys to oh, hold on just two minutes what do we have for scorpio please storm warning oh i got two walking away what is going on scorpio i could have sworn i just had the same it's very similar messages to the last reading that I did for you guys. I have storm warning. This is an incoming challenge or just kind of like difficulties. I have walking away. I have deceit. And then I have commitment. Very interesting, Scorpio. Let's get into the tarot. To see what this is about. I'm going to be using two decks today. Spirit. What is going on with Scorpios in love? Messages for Scorpio regarding love. I'm going to be clarifying with a different deck, so I'm going to move that over. What is going on, Scorpio? If you haven't watched the last Scorpio reading that I did, go check that out. I feel like this is going to be a very similar reading. That usually doesn't happen back to back, but... Thank you. Three of Cups. Okay. Jeez, hold on. I'm just going to take the ones that flipped over. Four of Wands, High Priestess. What else for my Scorpios, please? Page of Cups. I was swapping. What else for my Scorpios? I had a comment recently that my shuffling is terrible. I completely agree. It's not on purpose, I assure you. It's every time I get up, I start doing these readings, it's like something happens to my hands and I just forget how to shuffle or something. Like, it is the weirdest feeling. It's like if you've always known how to drive, right? You never think about it and then you get in a car and all of a sudden you, you can't turn. <laughs> very similar and I really think it's because it's almost like spirit takes over right or or something oh my god oh my god okay so we got seven of pentacles knight of swords and then the tower and two of cups came out here at the end Scorpio good goodness just what is happening there's something here a high priestess I'm immediately drawn to the high priestess here I feel like there's something being uncovered revealed not shared um, like a secret or something um, I'm really getting the sense that some of you are ending a relationship I think this is a relationship that's been strong in the past 
with the four of wands here, but I have the tower with two of cups. So this could be taken two ways. Either there's been an unexpected shakeup in your relationship and it's over, or a tower moment has brought you your two of cups. We're going to clarify and see if we get any clarification on that. But um, whatever is happening here, there's been a, a kind of like a change. There was a seven of pentacles moment where someone was waiting around for the right time, wondering if something was ever going to happen. Now, again, this could be you or the other person. And then I have a knight of cups and a page of cups touching this card here. So it's almost like someone's rushing in to deliver a message to communicate something very important here with knight of swords. He's on a mission, knight of swords. I feel like this deceit card is very, it has something to do with the high priestess. Almost like there's some, you had an intuition about something, Scorpio, and I, I feel like you're probably right. Three of cups here starting off, it could be a reunion of some sort, a celebration of some sort, a third party situation. It could be either of those things. I have it connected to the Four of Wands. So, I mean, it could be a reunion with someone that you want to have a stable, long-term relationship with, or it could be a third party situation having to do with a marriage. I'm seeing it both ways. So let's clarify and see what this is all about. I've been using a, a totally different deck to do um, clarifying with. And for some reason, I do not want to use that deck for you guys. I'm going to use this deck by Barbara Moore. Messages for Scorpio. In regards to love, please. Spirit messages for Scorpio, please. In regards to love. Let's start with this Three of Cups. What's this Three of Cups about? Okay. Four of Swords. Healing. Not speaking. Not moving. Tell me more. Tell me more. Higher font. I'm telling you this is about a marriage or a very long-term commitment. The World Two of Wands. Okay, so I'm really getting here. Hierophant, um, sign of Taurus. Could be dealing with a Taurus, someone with a Taurus in their chart. There has been a cycle ending for you, Scorpio, that has caused you to look out at the possibilities, the potential of something else. You know what I'm getting with the Four of Swords and the Hierophant? I'm, I very, very clearly a message in my head. This marriage is dead. That's what I, that's what I just heard. It could be that this mess, this marriage is on the rocks or someone's checked out emotionally on this relationship. That's what I'm getting. Someone involved in here, in this relationship just is almost like they don't want to look up. They don't want to open their eyes. They don't want to move. They don't want to do anything, but sit down and rest because they're tired. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like with the world, this was meant to happen exactly as it happened. This is everything coming around full circle. And now there's like a two of wands possibility here. Like someone's looking out and trying to figure out their next step here. This could, again, this could deal with a reunion of some sort, a third party situation. I have the hangman under the deck, so yes, exactly what I'm saying. Someone has had either newfound clarity on a situation or someone is stuck in a situation. But either way, they're not doing anything about it just yet. Tell me about the four of wands here for Scorpio. Tell me about the four of wands here for Scorpio. Why is this four of wands here? Okay, queen of pentacles. The wifey card or hubby card for me. Queen of wands. There's two people here. Right away, I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing two people here. 
there's someone that's in a long, long committed relationship and there's another person who wants to take action on something. Two queens. Now, don't focus on the gender. Focus more on what the cards represent, the energies, right? I'm seeing someone here who is in a long, stable, committed relationship. And I see someone else who's very passionate and driven and wants something. Queen of Wands. She sees something and she goes after it. What else? Knight of Swords, bottom of the deck again. Tell me more about this Four of Wands, please, for Scorpio. What is this Four of Wands about for Scorpio? Spirit, thank you. Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is... Someone wanting to, hmm, someone's wanting to balance a situation or someone's not getting what they're putting in to a relationship here. Six of, of Pentacles is all about give and take. Someone has been giving too much here and someone's just been taking or vice versa. With Page of Swords, someone's been trying to figure something out. There's curiosity with the Page of Swords. He's the student of the deck. He wants to learn about things. He wants to research. He's not the best communicator though. So I'm really getting that, you know, this is also the card for like spying on social media, looking for something, um, trying to get to the bottom of something here. I feel like with this um, Four of Wands, this is clarifying Four of Wands, by the way. I think there's two people here because I really am starting to think this is a third party situation. This is some sort of third party situation. Someone has not been receiving or putting in the same amount of effort in this relationship. That's probably why this person has wandered off of this, out of this marriage. There's something unbalanced in a current relationship and it's caused someone else to kind of have a wandering eye or someone caught someone else looking into someone else or someone has not been able to let go of someone from their past and they keep checking up on this person and this other and this person in a committed relationship this queen of pentacles is like dude why are you doing that or it could be vice versa it could be the person you're interested in scorpio i don't know there's you tell me because you guys know your situation best but Right away, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting two different people. Too many people in this relationship is what I'm getting. There's so many people involved here. Someone wants to make an offer. Someone is getting a message or delivering a message, though. So there's action that's happening here. Even though there's something that's not being said or, or something that's being revealed or someone has an intuition about something here. Bottom of the deck, Emperor. Sign of Aries. Again, someone who takes actions and matter, matters into their own hands. Tell me about the High Priest. Okay. Wow, Eight of Wands. Tell me, okay. Tell me about the High Priestess. Tell me about the High Priestess, please. What else about this High Priestess? Eight of Wands is definitely communication back and forth. Movement, just in general. Why is the High Priestess here for Scorpio? The Hermit. High Priestess, Hermit, Eight of Wands. You definitely have an intuition or you know something, Scorpio. There's been communication back and forth or movement back and forth about something and it's caused you to find clarity on your own. Some of you could be recently single. Some of you, this relationship definitely ended and you're single. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. I'm not really getting that very strongly, but I'm mentioning the sign anyway. Um, more than anything, I'm getting that you got some sort of communication, some sort of realization here with the high priestess and it's caused you to withdraw. 
Wheel of Fortune under the deck. So that makes sense. Wheel of Fortune Tower, this was meant to happen and it completely will change everything here. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've been through something here, Scorpio. It's caused you to withdraw, be kind of paranoid, put up walls. But you're not giving up. Nine of Wands, he doesn't give up. Tell me about this Page of Cups down here. Spirit, what is this Page of Cups down here? Thank you for Scorpio. Queen of Cups. Okay, strong emotional connection. Someone wants to make an offer. It could be an apology as well. Two very big cups here. Two of Pentacles. Juggling, weighing their options, trying to figure out what to do. How to handle this is what I'm getting. Someone wants to make an offer of love, whether you or uh, the other person. Um, there's a strong emotional connection here, but someone is still undecided or doesn't know how to go about this. Four of Wands again. Someone could be deciding whether to leave a marriage or a long-term commitment to make this offer. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. This is waiting for the results to come in, wondering if something is going to play out in your, like the way that you expect it or just grow, period. The Pentacles take a long time to grow, a long time to harvest. Whoa. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please. What about the seven of pentacles? Hangman. Yep. Someone's just been waiting and waiting and waiting for something. Maybe for the situation to improve. Nine of pentacles. Again with the pentacles. For some of you, this is financial. Some of you are single with the nine of pentacles. The star at the bottom of the deck could be an Aquarius, but I'm not really getting that. I'm getting that some of you have been one have been waiting to get out of a relationship. That's what I'm getting very strongly. You want to be independent. You want to have freedom again. You want to have stability again. You've had clarity about this with the hangman and the high priestess. I think someone was deceitful in this relationship and you figured it out and you're walking away and that's going to cause a storm. But I think you're going towards this commitment card here. True commitment is what I'm getting. Almost like what happened in this, in this relationship here wasn't what you wanted. And it's like you're healing from this and making a wish i just heard that there you are right under the star death card definitely the end of a relationship tell me about the knight of swords could be a third party situation and that's why omg wheel of fortune just came out there's a wheel of fortune change divine timing this message this realization this knowledge changed everything I think intuitively you knew this, Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles, yep. The wheel is turning here to bring you an offer, a message. Now this is a really this is a relationship reading, so it's an a committed offer, commitment. Five of Swords under the deck, definitely. I feel like this. Five of Swords energy is loss, defeat, unfair advantage, playing dirty. Someone was playing dirty and they got caught. Somebody, somebody to try to take a, took a, somebody tried to take advantage of a situation and lost. Tell me about the Tower and the Two of Cups. This to me, I mean, could be two ways, but I'm really seeing it as the end of this Two of Cups or something like that. There was this this partnership worked at one point. It was a good partnership at one point, is what I'm getting. And then someone tried to play dirty. Three of Pentacles. Again, the three there. Definitely, I'm getting a third party situation. Maybe not working together. Maybe too many people involved. I don't know. Knight of Cups. I think also what I'm getting here is this tower moment, this this 
crumbling of a foundation, this ending that happened. Um, I feel like it's clear the way for you to go after your two of cups. You can make an offer, a knight of cups offer to somebody else, something you can build with. So this could be you, Scorpio, or the other person. I feel like whatever situation, whoever's in this situation with a tower moment, it's going to bring about a two of cups, knight of cups, three of pentacles. Now, three of pentacles to me was like a personal confirmation for me as a reader of what I was thinking this whole time. But it could also be, you know, a love that actually is people are working on together, right? Making an effort on it together. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. I'm just curious and I'm going to wrap it up. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles for Scorpio. Why is this Three of Pentacles here, Spirit? Thank you. Eight of Swords. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so this could be definitely, I'm getting the third party situation with the Eight of Swords. Also, it could be if this is someone that wants to build on something with someone else, they're mentally stuck. They're in their head about it. They don't know which way to go, right? With the Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands. They see a potential here, but they can't get out of their mental prison. Someone's thinking too much about this and it's causing them to take their sweet time with the Knight of Pentacles here. Two of Pentacles here. But there's real love here. I really see there's real love here. I just think that this relate this this current situation that this person is in is not easy to get out of. They're stuck, they're trapped at the moment. But all they're thinking about is walking away. They're just stuck and they can't do anything about it at this time. But they're thinking about collaboration, building two of cups. That's what I'm getting. What's at the bottom of the deck? Strength card. Yeah. This person needs the courage to make their move. That's what's, that's what's keeping them. They're in their mental prison and they haven't made a choice. And they, they even though they, their intuition is kind of screaming at them, they haven't moved yet, but they're finding the courage to do so. Let me know if this resonated with you, Scorpio. Um, leave me a comment. Tell me what the situation is all about. If it didn't resonate with you, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Thank you for checking out this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.